Good morning, everybody. On behalf of the Government of Canada, I'd like to thank you for joining me in support of seniors on World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. Additionally, I'd like to thank our host, the Registered Nurses Association of Ontario. The members of your organization are on the front lines in caring for Canada's seniors. Nurses and caregivers like you are irreplaceable. You play a crucial role in the lives of seniors. You are sensitive to their needs and offer them invaluable support. You do so with compassion and consideration, often providing them with more than medical care. Unfortunately, you may come across situations where a senior's vulnerability has led to some form of elder abuse. Sometimes you can detect when a senior's trust has been broken. As a result, you are in a unique position to play a leading role in helping to prevent elder abuse and raise awareness of this issue. We are indebted to people like you who are actively making a difference in the lives of so many seniors. It is fitting to recognize your efforts today because it is World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. For the seventh year in a row, Canada is joining countries around the world to acknowledge our role in combating elder abuse. Elder abuse robs people of their dignity and peace at a time of life when they ought to feel secure. Many seniors do not report abuse because they feel isolated or defenseless and do not know what to do. As a consequence, the problem of elder abuse remains largely hidden. For all of these reasons, it gives me pride to make an important announcement today in the fight against elder abuse. On behalf of the Government of Canada, I'm pleased to announce $14.6 million in funding for 33 pan-Canadian projects that will raise awareness of elder abuse and help seniors protect themselves from its many forms, including financial abuse. <laughs> These projects have been approved under the New Horizons for Seniors Program. I'm particularly delighted that the Registered Nursing Association will receive $675,000 to create and disseminate a best practice guideline on elder abuse awareness for nurses across Canada. By partnering with a variety of stakeholders and organizations from across Canada, we can help seniors protect themselves from abuse while continuing to raise awareness. Recently, we also introduced legislation to help ensure consistently tough penalties for offenses involving the abuse of elderly persons. Ladies and gentlemen, we owe it to our seniors to protect them and fully appreciate all they have done to help build our country and our communities. Any form of abuse will not be tolerated. To make our efforts a success, we need everyone's help, including those of you here. In the cause of caring for seniors, you are involved in virtually every aspect of their care. And because of your leadership and devotion to caring for our seniors, Canada seniors can look forward to a better and more secure life. 